An early warning system is being proposed for San Diego's coastal bluff collapses. As ABC 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco explains, bluff failures are a constant threat to beachgoers. It's a picture-perfect beach day in Del Mar. The sun is out, and so are the signs warning people to stay away from the cliffs. Still Monday morning, surfers walk dangerously close to the bluffs. Others set up their umbrellas directly underneath. Harvey Oringer has lived near the bluffs for decades. It of course makes me nervous, but by the same token, I don't think you could stop people from enjoying the beauty of nature here. A reminder of why he gets nervous can be seen from this 10 News drone video. A large chunk of the bluffs fell last month, just south of 4th. Repairs are ongoing. Assembly member Tasha Berner Horvath is pushing a bill to set aside two and a half million dollars for Scripps Institution of Oceanography to study why the cliffs collapse and ideally come up with some type of warning system. Mark Zumberg is a Scripps geophysicist. We're using technologies that weren't available a few years ago, and we hope that by applying those technologies, we can we can really understand what happens. Oringer is skeptical. I'm not optimistic that there could be a warning system, and I think we'll see a lot more tragedy if we think that is the solution. Zumberg admits they can't say for sure. Hopefully there are some indicators, but we don't really know yet until we start looking carefully. If the bill is approved, Scripps would start the research at the end of the year. The study expected to last up to five. Rachel Bianco, ABC 10 News. State parks, employees and sheriff's deputies have been out warning people not to walk along the railroad tracks or the bluffs.